everyone welcome back or welcome to if this is your first time seeing my videos to black cat tarot today we're doing a reading on your july 2021 love predictions i've got three piles here pile one pile two and pile three feel free to take as much time as you want pause the video and meditate on whichever pile seems to be calling you and yeah i'll start off with pile one Hi, Pile One. Um, welcome to your July 2021 romance reading. Um, what's going to happen in your love life in July? So I'm going to start off with tarot cards. Probably going to pick around three. Oh, five wands. Okay. Pile One. Oh, seven of wands. Okay. And the six of cups. Okay, that's kind of cute. Hmm. I'm gonna grab you guys some romance angels, probably two or so, however many I feel called to pick. Pile ones, children. Hmm. There's one showing passion. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna get you guys some of these oracle cards, so old style Lenormand. Pile one. We've got man. Whoa. Oh, that's too many. Okay. Okay, there we go. Um, that's interesting. But I'm I'm starting to get a message. And I'm gonna grab you guys a few tea leaf cards. Okay, not not that many. <laughs> Okay, we've got staff and candle. Okay, I'm getting your guys' message here. So, I'm seeing something happening in July where basically, I hope you guys can see the staff card. Let me step up just in case. Basically, there's some sort of large social conflict happening with the five of wands and the seven of wands it almost seems like some people have turned on you or like you're being kind of pushed up in a corner and attacked maybe this is popping in my head but maybe you you were dating someone and you all shared a friend group and then when you and that person split up it caused a lot of chaos and um, your ex sort of turns stuff onto you. And I can see that, if that's currently happening, I can see in July this is going to be, this is going to be sorted out. It says, for the staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times, and the candle, you will be shown the way. So, right now there feels like maybe a lot of conflict and an over bubbling cauldron and whatnot but with this coffin here this conflict is gonna leave maybe some sort of bad relationship situation is ending and i see with the six of cups that maybe someone you knew from childhood with this children card you guys will be reconnecting um, this person definitely has masculine energy. The man card doesn't have to be identified as a male, but they maybe have more of a masculine energy. And <laughs> I see when you guys reconnect, it's going to be quite passionate. Quite, quite passionate. I feel like this conflict is going to be happening more towards the first week or so of July or it's been happening now and it's going to get resolved within the first week or two of July and some point during this you're gonna maybe meet this childhood friend or someone you used to like were childhood sweethearts with and you guys are going to reconnect so while this negative chaotic arguing energy is going to leave with this coffin it's ushering in new things, or I guess 
something good for you, like this connection from the past, which is going to be pretty passionate, apparently. Hmm. I also see that maybe, maybe you already know this person, like you're already talking to them again, and maybe that's what's causing this sort of conflict. Maybe your friends or some other people are like, I don't like this person, or there's just some sort of drama around this relationship. But what I'm saying is maybe don't listen to them. <laughs> Go with what your heart wants. Because um, I see this as a nice connection. I'm going to get some more tea, le tea leaf cards to just try and maybe see more about the situation. Oh. News is on the way in romance, celebration, and party. And this fell near the man in the Six of Cups. Okay. So yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely saying that you're going to get some sort of message probably from this person. And maybe they're inviting you to do something with them or maybe you meet them at a wedding or a party or something. And you're like, "Oh, I I had a big crush on you when I was like in 5th grade or something and you guys hit it off." I want to know more about this conflict though. Like, what is with this conflict of how one's love life? Okay, there's the boot, which says increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. And conflict, conflict, conflict. Oh, lion, time to act. Okay, so I definitely see that in your life, I think you're currently working harder towards reaching your goals and you're really making leeway towards them like you're putting in a lot of effort to get what you want in life and maybe also in terms of a romantic relationship and I see that maybe some of the people around you are kind of jealous about this maybe you have people in a friend group that aren't so supportive maybe they don't they see you going after what you want and maybe meeting this person that you used to be involved with and getting back together with them like a fairy tale and maybe they're jealous and they're like, as a result, they push this negativity onto you when in reality, they, they could do all of this themselves too if they put in the effort. So honestly, just try to brush off their negativity. I know here with the seven wands, maybe you feel pushed up against the wall, like suddenly your coworkers or friends or people you're around or family are just suddenly being so negative to you. But with the candle, you you will be shown the way and you'll be taken care of in difficult times with the staff. You have got all you need. You're heading the right way. This relationship is gonna be a good thing. It's gonna be fun. I see if the fan maybe in terms of longevity of this relationship, I'm not quite sure, but I feel like that's something you shouldn't be worrying about with this fan. I feel like you should have fun with it, you know? Be in the moment. Don't worry about the forever if that's something you're interested in, because I, I completely get that. Or like, is this, is this my soulmate? Is this going to last a long time? You know, with this, don't worry about that. It doesn't matter. You're enjoying yourself you're feeling passionate, have fun in the moment. And for these people who are being negative, let them be negative in their own space. Don't let them affect you. They can be bitter on their own. Okay, I'm gonna get you guys one of these um, crystal ball pocket oracle cards. So you can go ahead and ask a question, what if you want an answer to, kind of like the pendulum. And whatever card you get out will be your answer. Probably something to do with your love life since this is a love reading. So. Oh. It says reconsider. Okay. I feel like with reconsider, 
depending on what you ask maybe maybe it has something to do with with all these doubts being instilled you were thinking of oh maybe i shouldn't do this maybe you know maybe you know all these doubts and i feel like with this it's like reconsider or it really just depends on whatever you asked but that was a message that popped up in my head so yeah if you're suddenly thinking that oh i have all these plans i'm going towards but all these people around me are being negative about it maybe i should give them up reconsider the idea of giving up maybe don't <laughs> maybe don't give up because i think you're heading into a good place okay i'm gonna get you guys some letters too maybe you can get initials or the name of a person or place whoa okay we got a b a W and an S. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, there are two W's, so maybe someone has double initials. Uh, initials, what? Initials. If maybe someone has double initials. Um, got an N, a Z, a B, an E, an O. S, T, two W's. I see, I see when you're gonna win in this situation. I see the name Ben. Maybe the person you know is named Ben. Hmm. Okay, you guys can just go ahead and pause the video and figure out the um, letters yourself. I'm gonna end the video here though. So I really hope you enjoyed it, pile one. I, I have fun doing these kinds of readings, and yeah, go ahead and let me know um, at the end of July if any of this stuff came true, because it's really cool to see what resonated and what didn't. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye. Hi, Pile 2. Welcome to the July 2021 Love Prediction Reading. Um, so we're going to be asking the question of what's going to be happening in your love life this July. I'm going to start off with some tarot cards, and yeah, we'll just go from there. Love life in July. Oop. Okay, we got the Star, Knight of Pentacles. And the Nine of Swords. Okay. Let's get you guys some Romance Angels Oracle cards. Oh, wow. Calling in your soulmate. Oh, I love that. That's cute. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Okay, I'm I'm seeing I'm I'm seeing a very clear message already, but I'm just gonna finish getting the oracle cards. Okay. Get some old style and Normand. Two so five. This one's calling me crossroads. Okay. And garden. And finally, some tea leaf oracle cards. Whoa. Bear. Pile twos. These are just August. Interesting. Okay. Pile twos. And kangaroo. Okay, so these cards, they have little messages on the bottom, but sometimes I like to just look at the image and go for my intuition. I'll read what they say anyways, just in case it resonates with you. So kangaroo says unsettled times and need to plan ahead. And bear says danger, especially in money matters. Now that sounds kind of negative and I'm really not getting that, any of that, especially for a 
romance reading, except for maybe kangaroo, and let me explain why. So you guys have the Nine of Swords, and what I'm getting from this is you've been having a lot of anxiety lately, or a lot of depression, a lot of stress, and like this lady here, maybe you've been having a hard time sleeping, just not in a good spot. And easier said than done, but the card for yourself says it's time to take back control of your life. And I know there's a lot of people out there that just be like, oh, drink water, do this and that. And that's mental health problems are way more complicated than that. But one thing that you can always remember is that you have control over the situation. Maybe you don't have control over the fact that you have anxiety, but you do have control over how you deal with it. Maybe what this means is it's time for you to be like, you know what? I'm not going to let this just run my life. I'm going to look for some sort of help. You know, whatever that may be. Maybe it's going to therapy. Maybe it's journaling. Maybe it's just cutting out stuff in your life that really stresses you out. So I feel like with the kangaroo, with unsettled times, it really just means that with the Nine of Swords, you've been kind of unsettled and anxious lately. And maybe, maybe you should plan ahead a bit with, you know, goals or ideas you want to do, or maybe stuff you can do to help yourself feel better. Um, I know this is a love reading that was pretty, um, not heavy, but, you know, there. But this, this is leading to your love life. Um, I've kind of had a similar situation in my life where I was, I always was like, I want to be dating someone or the, this or that. But the thing was, I was so anxious and shy. I just wasn't ready for something like that. I wouldn't be able to maintain it. I would be constantly freaked out. It just, I wanted it, but I needed to work on myself a little bit first. And I see at these crossroads that you're kind of at a crossroads where maybe you've hit a point that you're like, okay, I can continue feeling this anxious and stressed. And maybe, for example, if you have a lot of social anxiety, not going out and meeting people, staying at home a lot. Or you can look and be like, yeah, it's scary and I feel afraid. But it will really be good for me to maybe put myself out there more and get some help and do this and that so that you can be happy because ultimately you deserve that. You deserve to feel happy and safe and okay. Everyone does. And I'm really seeing that this month of July, you're going to be doing a lot of healing and transformation. You're going to be, it's kind of making me emotional, but you're going to be so much happier when you start this work on yourself. You're gonna be so much more peaceful and calm. And as a result, this sort of healing is going to call in your soulmate, if that is something you want. And I see throughout this healing of July, you know, maybe the soulmate could come in August. Maybe you'll meet them in August. And I'm seeing with this Knight of Pentacles and the bear, I know the bear says danger in regards to money matters, but when I look at the bear, especially in a romantic matter, for some reason I always think of protection and safety. I don't know why. It seems very counterintuitive, but when I think of a bear, it's like a bear hug or a big bear, like like protection to me is what I think of. A protective, loving, warm, significant other. And I feel like the sunlight coming in with this Knight of Pentacles is really going to be able to offer you something stable and protect, like protected and just nice. And you're going to have a lot of enjoyment with them. With the garden, I know the meaning of the card um, in the booklet has something to do with celebration and fun and parties, and I could definitely see that as well. But I'm also thinking of just a lot of, a lot of outdoors times together, maybe camping and just peaceful nature walks. I'm just seeing, maybe gardening, you guys garden together. I'm seeing a lot of that, and it, it feels very peaceful, and this person's very stable and steady. And I think that they will sort of be a rock for you. 
I mean, of course, don't um, be aware of any sort of codependence or anything like that. But I feel like maybe you have a lot of anxiety over romantic relationships, maybe of being hurt or something. And this person's going to make you come out of your shell a little bit and be more comfortable. Be like, hey, this isn't too bad. Not everyone's out to break my heart. Um, but yeah, I know usually people want to hear in love readings for a month that they're going to find love that month. But I feel like you're going to find this person probably in July. I mean, well, sorry, August. But in July, you're going to need to really work on and love yourself because you seem to be in a hard place right now so i'm gonna go ahead and get you guys a crystal ball pocket oracle card so you can ask any question you want that you want any sort of answer to like a pendulum go ahead and pause the video and think of a question and whatever you get would be maybe the answer it can, if you get an answer you don't like, um, I forgot to say this for Powell one, but if you get an answer you don't like, you can take it with a grain of salt because perhaps many different people are asking a question at this moment and this one card that's going to pop out will probably be trying to answer, you know, most of those. So it'll probably go with the general answer to all those questions. So get a card. Enough rambling from me. Go, the time is right. Okay. I feel like I don't know what you guys asked. Maybe it was something to do with should I do this? Should I put myself out there and join this class? And if that's what you ask, then yes, you should do it. It, you know, with anxiety, people... This is something my mom would always tell me. People are too busy focusing on themselves to notice you. Because think about it. If you have anxiety, you're constantly thinking about what you're doing and how that may seem weird or cringy and this and that. But you hardly notice what other people are doing. Or, you know, when you see people do other things that you would beat yourself up for, for them, like how you react with them is very casual. Oh, it doesn't matter. So... Maybe that's something you could try and keep in mind. Okay, I'm going to get you guys some letters as well. So look for initials or anything of that sort, names, anything that resonates. Okay, we got an L. We got two Ds. Pile 1 had two W's, so I'm seeing a lot of um, repeats. Okay, I see the name Todd. <laughs> I don't know if this will be the name of the person you meet, um, but I see the name Todd. So maybe you can think of that, keep that in mind. Okay, pile two. I'm going to leave it here. I had a lot of fun with this reading. I, I enjoy doing readings like these. Um, maybe if you guys would like, can you um, get back to me at the end of July and let me know how things ended up, like what resonated, what actually happened, or maybe in this case, if you meet someone in August named Todd, please like leave a comment because that would be the craziest thing. Um, thank you so much for watching and maybe i'll see you guys next time goodbye hi pal three welcome to your july 2021 love predictions for reading so today i'm going to start off with some tarot cards and then i'll immediately grab some oracle cards and hopefully we will get some good messages about what's going to be coming into your love life this july so pile three Is love life July. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna take the seven and eight. Okay, actually I'm gonna take all of them. Um 
several of these were actually hiding and I find that interesting when a card hides behind another so well I feel like it's it's part of that message and I need to take them but I'm gonna arrange these in a way that makes sense to me in regards to the message I'm getting okay I'm gonna get you guys some romance angels oracle cards got express your love and calling in your soulmate okay pile two got that as well so let's get some old style and norman cards stars Oops. and coffin hmm okay now I'm gonna grab you guys a tea leaf card, or a few tea leaf cards. And <laughs> already one wants to come out. Angel, oh. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> marriage. I'm not, I mean, if you guys are like not interested in marriage, then this could also be like a serious commitment or, you know, a partner for life type of thing. And you've got Angel, which says spiritual guidance and protection from harm. Okay. I feel like... I feel like you guys have been working really hard on something. I feel like mostly within yourselves. Like some sort of skill. Something has been taking in your focus, maybe school. And you've been really passionate and interested in it and working really hard on it. And... Maybe it's art. Maybe you're a very arti uh, artistic individual. And I feel like you've caught someone's eye. And they want to offer you something. Or maybe this is a pile where I'm getting that maybe you're in a relationship with this person. And you've been putting in a lot of effort in the relationship. And maybe they're going to be offering you something really solid. Maybe a deeper commitment. Maybe an engagement ring. I don't know. With this coffin, I'm not really feeling... I feel like when people see the coffin, it's kind of like death where it can be a change. But I don't feel sadness or negativity from this. I feel changing from one phase of life to the next. With the stars, it makes me think, obviously, of the star tarot card healing, but also just of astrology and divine guidance, which I think fits well with the angel. It's a spiritual guidance and protection from harm. So I think you guys are really being guided in July. And I feel like there's not much you really have to do. Just keep doing what you're doing, essentially keep working on the relationship with this person if you've already met them or just maybe if you haven't met them what you're working on currently such as your career maybe this popped in my head randomly but like an Etsy shop if you're starting an Etsy shop and you're really focused on it keep going with that okay or maybe art maybe you have an Etsy shop and you're selling art something about this hyper focus on your craft it's almost like you don't see this knight of pentacles person coming or you don't see like if you're with them you don't see this sort of surprise coming but i think this person whether you know them or not is going to express their affection make a romantic gesture and that's really exciting so if you are with this person maybe they'll propose to you or if you haven't really met them yet they're gonna be like ask you out on a date and I think this person's a soulmate with marriage you know if you're not into marriage I really see this very long-term happy connection where this is going to be a soulmate of yours and yeah you you have nothing to worry about 
you're moving from one phase of life to the next and things are going well. I'm getting a really calm vibe from you guys where nothing is really phasing you much. You're just, you're going after what you want. Any sort of drama, you're just like, whatever, I'm not interested. I'm doing what I want. <laughs> and I think that's great. And I think you should really stick with that mindset. This meeting of this person, if you haven't met them, is definitely being guided by maybe your your spirit guides or your ancestors, something. You guys are being guided to meet each other. Yeah, I, I really like this pal. It gives off really sweet or very sweet energy. You guys are the only ones, I think, who got four tarot cards. Hmm. Maybe, because I did, I did a huge, like, rose theme. I have rose petals around here. I've got red stuff. I have, a, I have a strawberry pound cake candle burning, and it smells so good. And this marriage card has roses all over it. So maybe this will be the kind of situation where they they ask you on a date, and they give you a bouquet of roses, and you guys go to dinner, or whatever you're into. I, I feel like this was going to be a really sturdy, nice time. If you haven't been with them or met them, it's going to be a great first date, and if you are with them, the improvement or increasement of commitment and the process which that is brought up is going to be really intimate and nice. Okay, I'm going to get you guys a crystal ball pocket oracle, so you can go ahead and ask any question you want. This will work as like a pendulum of sorts and you will get an answer. If you get an answer you don't like, just keep in mind that multiple people will probably be watching this video and the answer is going to go with like how many questions, like the overall answer to all those questions, if that makes sense. Okay. Pile three. Reconsider. I'm feeling called to grab you guys another one of those. I don't know why, so I'm going to gonna pick one more okay. okay okay this seems weird I usually just pick one I'm taking all three I see choose a new direction no need to worry and reconsider so I definitely feel like you're heading in a new direction in your life maybe you're reconsidering some things because this wise but i'm definitely feeling up this angel card you have nothing to worry about okay everything's being taken care of and things are just gonna go smoothly this month so i hope those answered some of your questions now i'm gonna get you guys some letters and Think of it like maybe you'll see initials or the name of this person or something that will resonate. So I'll go ahead and shuffle them. Okay, you guys got a W, an R, an I, an E, an O, a T, a D. Two R's, okay, every single pile has had two matching letters. Pile one was two W's, pile two was two D's, I believe it was two D's, something like that. And you guys got two R's, so it sounds like a lot of people have, like, double initials. I see right. Maybe you'll get a little, like, love note, that'd be kind of cute, kind of old-fashioned. writer maybe you're writing books because there's also do you like do write <laughs> um so maybe that's what you're working on right now is writing or maybe this person is a writer hmm. okay pal three i'm gonna leave it here feel free to like pause the video and stare more at the letters if you'd like um but I had a lot of fun with this video. I, I enjoy doing these kinds of videos and I really, I really hope you enjoyed it. So 
I said this with the other piles and I'm going to say it again. If if you would like to, I think it'd be really cool if you'd come back at the end of July and tell me what happened and what didn't happen. It's just cool to see how things resonated and ended up manifesting. Okay, thank you so much for watching my video and I'll hopefully see you guys next time. Goodbye.